Hey everybody, welcome back to a second playthrough of She Sees Red. Meaning, she sees blood. I'm not sure how drastically different all these choices are, but I'll try to make the opposite of what I did the first time around. Right, so when we were here, I kind of thought that was a lady. But in certain scenes, the jawline looks like a guy, so I... I really don't know. What if the guy's actually dead? And the whole time it's been this woman? Boss is coming back. that a man had been killed in your club. Police arrives. I'm getting out of here. But do I just leave the body? My ultimate goal is to... What? Get revenge on the man? Okay, let's see how much this diverges then. Yeah, it's on the ground. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. My phone? Why is your phone so old school? It's not even a smartphone. The tip was correct. Please call the investigators. I didn't bother cleaning up. And I stabbed this guy in the ear with a freaking pencil. Was that necessary? Not the neck to kill him, but in his ear? Your colleagues will scare my clients. Can they come in through the back door? Are there cameras here? The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. Oh, you were so heavy. Like a mammoth. What, you're just gonna freaking touch so it? Please help her. Stop. <laughs> you need to wear gloves for that. And where do I find gloves? Hmm? Use plastic bags. I feel like, shouldn't you guys wait for the forensics guy? God. That pencil is still there. Why was this guy bleeding from the mouth anyway? From choking? Oh my god. What? That's new. Wouldn't it be better to wait for your team in my office? Am I right? If something goes wrong, you'll put all the blame on us. Not self-defense, it appears. Mr. Suhanov, how are you connected to Thailand? Oh, was the writing on that thing Thai? Tourism. No, it's drugs. I need more details. I doubt someone is killing your staff for petty theft. What do you mean, details? I haven't been there for five years. <laughs> if what you say is true, why would anybody leave this message for you? What does it say? Are you serious? Just because I'm the owner of this club, you think I'm a bad guy too, is that right? Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Now did I kill the second guy or not? Lawyer. No, not yet. But you might insist on his presence.
It's all starting to make sense. What's this part? This part is me getting apprehended by a security guard before I got captured here. Because I was already trying to infiltrate into this place. Okay, so far, informational differences, but we end up back here anyway. Well, I didn't kill the other guy. For now. Can't hear you. Where I can find the restroom? Restroom, okay. <laughs> that almost seemed deliberate. See right over there? See the gate? Behind the pink pool. Can you show me? Huh? Can you show me? Okay, but quick. Oh, now I just speed past all of this. Ah! This problem again. <gasps> this place needs some renovations. Someone was walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. So this part is a little bit faster because we skipped a portion about how I killed the second security guard. Distract him. I might fail. And I might have to kill this guy. Like I said, this place needs renovations. What's all this cheap crap they store? Let's go, let's go. Oh, come on. You can be a little bit faster, right? Not so fast that he can see you in his peripheral vision. Hey, you! Wait! Oh, damn it! Knife. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What? Oh, the wood is damp? Water. Hey, you! Wait! What's this mess here, huh? Ah, uh, whew. Pretty classic distraction. What? Your guest spilled a bottle of water. And while the guard was busy cleaning up, he snuck right behind his back. You think it was a guard? It could have been any of the staff. Look carefully at the floor. Do you see how thoroughly it's been cleaned? Even the walls and corners are dry. I highly doubt that your cleaner is usually so diligent. Someone was watching him. Who would intimidate him other than a security guard? Clean this up. Mr. Suhanov, maybe you should consider <laughs> getting a better guard. You surround yourself with amateurs. <laughs> Ready for more? 
I can't wait to find out what other tricks this mysterious guest has. Wait, you idiot. Can you tell it's not ready yet? Last time I followed the plan to the T. And it worked out okay for me, I think, because I ended up getting the boss to kill his own daughter. Oh, and that's why she wasn't answering the phone, goddamn. But if I try to improvise, does that mean that it's probably gonna turn out worse for me? Go around. Wait, that's not it. It needs more sauce. Let me ask. Do we have more orders? Just this one. Wonderful. I only have one left. Perfect. I only need one. What? People in the kitchen smoking! I know this is just a club, but come on, guys. Just making sure you don't get cancer. <laughs> it's like a video game where you actually crawl around the desks and stuff. And it worked! Realistically, how nimble can you be when you're crouching like this? I seem pretty dang acrobatic and athletic, though. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Don't blame him. I would do the same thing. Oh, I made this so much more difficult for myself. The other path was easier, right? This one, I gotta like sneak around and do all sorts of- Damn. What the hell are you doing? Stop stealing all the food! <gasps> oh, you're so bad at this, what are you- <laughs> That's not how you- Oh my gosh. Ew. Oh, it's hot. It's not even done frying yet. You are s <laughs> This guy's such a pig! Ugh. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> we saw Sergei from security about an hour ago, that's all. <laughs> More like half an hour, I think. Did he say anything? They don't know about the tattoo. Thankfully not, no. <laughs> no one walked by the two of you, right? Today is Tuesday. It's a very quiet day. There's only a few of us working. Who would walk by? Uh oh. Hey, move it! Stop. What? Did my escape? Work. That guard seemed pretty stupid, so maybe we got away fine. Hi there. What's going on here? Uh, the stupid fucker destroyed the kitchen. Uh, it wasn't me, asshole. Uh, I spent half an hour looking hey, for him. We should look for another corpse. Oh no. <gasps> oh. In the kitchen? How unsanitary. The 
someone was standing here. Oh, oil prints. Alternatively, though, if I try to attack him outright, he might have made a lot more noise. See, I feel like from certain angles, it's not that clear whether this guy is actually a man or a woman. Sergey! Get him now! Oh, shit! Oh, damn, look at these action scenes. You asked for it. Oh! Dude, am I like a professional fighter or what? Oh! Oh! Holy god! Oh, don't do that, boy! What are you doing, boy? <laughs> That's hilariously fake. Oh. <gasps> Boy, you're why are you don't Whoa! Why would he do that? If you unplug it, the blood's gonna come out. Oh, you might be a little bit too dead to receive that piece of advice now. Did he hide under this table? Yeah. There should be a hole where the knife went through. No, 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 no! He wiped it. <laughs> what an idiot! Let's find the bodies. Where are they? Huh? I don't know. Do you know anything, asshole? You're useless. You don't see shit. It looks like he wasn't planning to go through the kitchen. Can you tell me where is your freezer? Oh no, oh no. Dead bodies galore? He didn't want to raise suspicion from what I see. So he wiped off the blood. Yeah, they're both there. And also, Yana. What? A picture? Wait, why would they sound so... not alarmed? If the daughter's here, it's gotta be a picture, right? Probably assume that that's the guy anyway, even though at this point, if this was my first playthrough, I wouldn't know that he had a tattoo. Well, I've left a photo there to be found on purpose. Dad, it's dead here today. I went home. Who is Maxim? The one who's chilling in the freezer now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, so that guy ends up dead all the time anyway. We should probably head back. There's only one way out of here. Through the warehouse. On this picture, there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? 
As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. I need you to go and check the stash while I distract her. Do you keep newspaper clippings about all of her suitors? Hmm. We don't have the cocaine this time. We can look at the wall. This is a fancy club place. Look at those statues. Uh, Russian people? <laughs> okay, those are stubbles. Ah, it's like an office above the club. Hey man, let's check. Ah. I came here, I drank, I started trouble, and I got captured. Get out of here. Oh, what is wrong with me? Ah, so that's how I ended up here. Russian drug mule. Liliana's been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months. Are gonna need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about this newspaper clippings. When she calls back. Mr. Suhanov. I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Hey, boss. Where's the gun? Get down! Away from the window! He's close by. Don't follow the plan. Yeah, we got a shotgun from here. Close all the blinds. Lock the door. Oh? The tattoo! I'm pretending to be the guy, right? Pretty obviously. Were the stubbles just makeup? But I got rid of my tattoo. Why do I have hearing problems anyway? Oh. He's not gonna fire. He's buying time. Come to the window and find out for yourself. There's a reason he led us to this office. He needs me to open the safe right here. That's when he will attack. And what's inside? Stand by the door. And you'll fall back there. We'll use live bait. He suddenly becomes so confident after seeing the police lady's tattoo. You said you didn't know who he was. I did. And I hoped it were true. He did a good job in Thailand, faking his own death. Oh! 
that you believe he killed all these people just for the cash? No, not just for the money. Also because of this. I see you have a burn. Yesterday I went to... My daughter has a burn across her back. It's all this damn junkie's fault, trust me. I gave the stupid bastard a job. But the fucker... got high on some shitty stuff. Spilled hot oil. On my daughter. Right on her back in this place right here. So you figured out long ago it was him? That's right. I just didn't want to be involved with this case in any way. Now is the police lady involved? What's this? This is what makes people kill each other. There's more you'll see. Oh. I want to learn more for now. Who are you to him? I'm not a police, am I? Sister. Make sure you give him my regards. Oh shit! Oh, don't oh, no! Oh! Oh fuck! I'll finish him. He's mine. I just wanted to read the goddamn documents. No. No, lady! Did you really think I would let him out of here alive after what he's done to my daughter, bitch? <gasps> Fucking shit! Fucking fuck! You like that? Help me now! Fuck. No, fuck. God! Fuck. Oh, damn! Like that! I'm sorry, lady, I got you killed! an old man's heart to witness the souls of a family being reunited with strength to them revenge failed <gasps> is that it Oh, what? We gotta go back. We gotta try to attack or something. Not gonna make the same mistake again. Let's go. Me plus the other guy versus the entire room. <laughs> Mama! Ooh! Boom! Oh no! My friend died though, no. 20 years ago? Are we twins? Probably not because everyone would have recognized my face. Whoa. Where are you going? Abusive father? Mmm. Sister's always been stronger. And all this because of some stupid.
My brother is the quieter, meeker one, huh? You drove... Drove him to... Drove him to suicide, you should... So we're killing boss guy because he's responsible for my brother committing suicide. In one of the other endings, I made him kill his own daughter, which is pretty much going according to plan too. It's all about getting revenge on his whole family. So... I can't. I can't. I can't. What? Why not? You do it. Wait. Why me? I don't want to. You do it. She's very angry. I won't do it. That's you it. Wanted, you do you it. You said you wanted to teach them. Where are you what? going? Hold on. Hush now. It's okay. He won't hurt you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are they so afraid of the daughter? Like they're too afraid to beat her? It's a little strange. This must be where the title of the game comes from though. She sees red, not blood, but anger. Cause she's so angry that people have been hurting her brother. Oh. I think we have one more ending where we, instead of going according to the plan, we improvise. Let's see if we can't see that first. Close all the blinds. Lock the door. When we followed the plan, it seemed like everything was gonna fail, but it actually went perfectly because we made Boss Guy kill his own daughter. We didn't even have to get any blood on our own hands. It was really perfect. Hard for me to imagine that improvising would give an even better result. We'll have to see. Let me get up now. I really think we should. We need backup now. How many? All of them. I'll do everything I can within my power and more. But I'll find the bastard. But we don't need backup. That footage must be doctored. Where is this room? It's a good thing you're still here. That was my way of getting him to open up the safe. Mr. Sukhanov, I believe it's a bad idea to make impulsive choices. Would you rather be gunned down then? You can go now. Either way, you've lost the game. Oh. How ominous. Hmm. 
Yeah, oh, oh. Explain. Well, a man you don't know, but who knows your daughter very well, saunters through your labyrinth as if he had a map. Mr. Suhanov, you have so many rooms here, but he was only interested in two of them. The only two rooms with video surveillance. Hmm. You hid something in there, and he found this something. Am I right? I feel like judging by the monitor, there's way more than two rooms with surveillance cameras. Maybe they're hallways. And while you're trying to intimidate us, our guest already emptied the second bag and escaped. It's a trick to divert attention. It's a loop. A wolf chased a rabbit, and it was a mistake. <sighs> Let's search the second room. I'm sure he also left something for you in there. This is exciting. We had a plan, but we chose not to follow it. Is boss guy gonna die? That's our ultimate plan, right? Mr. Suhanov, before you enter this room, let me ask you one more time. Is there anything you'd like to say? Not to you. I think she's looking for something like an apology. But he doesn't know who she is here. No. Be my guest. Open the door. I see, I see. It's all coming together now, by the end of all these endings. had time to set up this kind of trap, my god. There's been a shooting at Paradise Nightclub, some dead and wounded. Search the room where they store the chairs, you'll find a stash of cocaine in the air vent. What's next? I just want a good night's sleep. <laughs> when they snap the phone, I think that's supposed to be saying that they're not police. They're just random civilians reporting this crime. Kamishlov Daily. Could you please comment for our readers on the arrest and consequent suicide of Valerie Sverdlov? What's there to comment? My brother. We barely knew each other, you know? Wow! When did he die? 40 days ago. Ah, I read about him. He was selling drugs or something, right? No, he didn't sell drugs. He was just a courier. What's the difference? I believe that everyone involved in the drug business deserves a similar fate. Don't you agree? Thanks so much. You sealed your own fate. Mmm, <gasps> and with that, I think we have the full story here now, pretty much. 
It's a sister's pretty elaborate plan for revenge, and she's the one who sees Red. She is so angry about it. At first, it seemed like only the father was responsible for pushing her brother to suicide. But then the girlfriend was also like, Huh? Who is that? I don't really know him. You know, if he dies, oh well, he works in drugs, so he deserved it. Well, what can you say? Both you and your dad work in drugs too, so I guess you guys deserved it too. Both the improvisation and the going according to plan were really perfect because you kill one of them, but then the other one probably goes to jail because of the cocaine thing. So dang. Dang, she's really thought this out. I'm still a little bit confused about that scene that showed the parents though. The part where they were like, No, you go beat her. No, I don't want to do it. You do it. Like, why are they so scared of their own daughter? Is it just to show that she's really scary when she's angry, even if she is a child? Oh, well, she's angry enough to want to kill people over it, so that's that's true anger. Damn, though, the sister had some serious makeup skills, because I played this four times to get the four endings, right? And I was staring so intently at the hooded person to see if it's always a woman. There were definitely scenes where the person had stubble. I feel like they got the man to film that part as opposed to getting the woman to do some stubble's makeup, but I can't say for sure. This was a short little game, but I thought it was pretty engaging. Obviously, it's not like there was much gameplay to brag about, and the decision points were not the most frequent too. Like sometimes you would be watching a whole video for maybe a few minutes before it gives you something new. But at the same time, the fact that they built finding out all the pieces of a story around multiple playthroughs of a game is something that only the game medium can do, so I feel like that's still pretty impressive. Reminds me a lot of Bandersnatch on Netflix. Cool little experience, love it. Well, with that said, this was She Sees Red with Wellens. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed watching. <laughs> and I'll see you all in another place, in another time.